What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're showing you guys my concept for a festival, a light attribute mile coming to Grand Cross, so let's get into the video. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing, we are on the road to 25k subscribers, man. At the time of recording this video, I'm at 21,100 subscribers on the YouTube channel. You guys have actually been showing a ton of support on the channel, man, 900 away from the 22,000 subscriber mark. So let's hop into the video and actually talk about the concept that I created. So this concept, by the way, guys, I did like a few days ago and I've been deciding like when I want to uh, do a video on it. Um, but I did uh, write it up in Google Docs here and I want to show you guys uh, my concept for who, what I think Mael will do in the game and uh, what he can provide for Grand Cross. So... You know, basically just in VC, like, it's super late at night. I was with Devo and Derpy, and we were kind of just discussing, like, what I think could, like, work for Mile. You know, I started off with, like, a baseline, and, uh, you know, I'll give you guys my, uh, I'll show you guys what I also use as uh, inspiration as well. So, we'll pull up GC Database so I can have that uh, um, ready. But, uh, yeah, so, starting off, first things first. Uh, name of the character is going to be Angel of Death, Mael of Sunshine. The reason I got that was because on the wiki, um, they actually say that one of his nicknames is uh, Angel of Death. And I thought that sounded cool. So I was like, okay, we're going to add that, man. So uh, we put that. Um, and then we'll talk about his abilities in a bit. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the uh, name of the character. Attribute light. Obviously, he is light attribute, just like uh, Elizabeth. I think that's, that makes sense, you know what I mean? Or to be the second light attribute character, Mael does fit the bill. Um, so that's going to be that right there. For his passive, for each orb filled in the ultimate move gauge, when the hero increases rank of or uses it or moves his skill, increases basic stats by 6% up to 5 times. Increases basic stats by an additional 30% and recovers 50% HP if there are 5 or more ultimate move gauge or is in the hero's ultimate move gauge so the reason i thought of this passive right here and i think it's fair okay it is kind of fair we have evil lily in the game guys so the uh the the, the inspiration i got from this rel or this uh passive was from milam's relic actually so you guys see milam's relic the wording on it is very similar but it's for crit chance crit damage for my l i gave him basic stats right um so he increases basic stats six percent up to five times so a total of 30 percent and then when he gets uh when he gets to max ultimate move gauge he gets an additional 30 percent so he's at 60 percent basic stats total which you know it, it's a pretty good amount right um in terms of basic stats like if you guys don't know lilia herself and i thought this was fair too because you have to get max ultimate move gauge for it um evil lilia um she actually gets uh 50 through a holy relic because when five debuffs are applied on the enemy 50 percent basic stats outright and if she's able to just uh, get 50 percent just for doing nothing bro i gave the benefit of the doubt i was like okay if you push on my ultimate man you're getting 60 percent basic stats you're also healing as well so now let's actually talk about his grace this is a very very um you know cool idea this is what what started my idea basically of the mile uh concept really um but the grace that i have here is grace of sunshine um deals damage equal to 0.5 percent for per er or for every percent of remaining hp on the hero applies an entering battle so this is basically um flood so you guys see the flood effect uh 0.8 additional damage for every percent of remaining hp on self so i probably could have worded this better in terms of like how it was worded but i did nerf the uh, flood amount to 0.5 percent because i felt like you know um Miles is just going to deal way too much damage if I left it at 0.8. And uh, I want to have it as a grace because I think as a grace, it would be another DPS option other than Red Sario Link. In, you know, there's like no other DPS uh, other like graces other than Red Sario Link. I think this grace, I think, would be a really good grace for a lot of characters in the game just because um, a lot of them just have cracked the lifesteal in general. So we, they will just be having like almost full, uh, uh, you know, like... F uh, hp anyway you guys don't know it's like because it's like flood it's not based on how much uh hp you have like it's based on the you know remaining hp on self and the percentage of that so you know what i mean so that's going to be uh something right there and then like obviously a lot of people are going to use mile as a link uh for a lot of characters like evil lilia would be one of them you know giving her extra flood damage on her flood card just actually just sounds stupid but you know that that's like my main reasoning for this i gave flood because the, the you know more hp mile has the stronger he is the you know the more like power of the sunshine he has the more stronger he 
video so that, i don't know it clicked in my head i thought it was a good idea um so yeah it's gonna be the grace of the of the sunshine right there so for his skills we have skill one being arc so this is one of the abilities that a lot of archangels just use in general right an archangel uh, magical technique of the goddess clan that counteracts darkness by disintegrating the light particles the target is enveloped in a dazzling sphere of light that breaks apart their body so i thought you know i have to be creative with this you know what i mean i want i wanted it to be a strong card a strong damaging uh card because as you guys can already see my l is a dps type character and i wanted to build it uh being like a strong you know attacking character so what i did was i went to scotty scotty was a uh, the character i went to initially because i was like okay i want to do something like this card right here the hunting beast card but instead of doing like a debuff where she gets it through her passive and then she gets a debuff on herself i want to give mile a attack related stats up for doing it so it's basically the same as scotty but i nerfed the amount of damage it does on the card so we went we we did 200 300 500 okay just raw attack by the way increase it so increases the hero's attack related stats by three percent one time for two turns then inflicts damage equal to 200 percent on one enemy stacks five times so basically what this means if you guys have not played with scotty before um it's the exact same thing as scotty so for hers it decreases the hero's max hp by two percent for one time for three turns right so when it says one time you get one debuff when it says two times you get two debuffs and when it says three times you get three debuffs right and you can only cap it out at five so if you got two rank threes you'd only be able to get five total not six right um but as you can see like there's three turns on these i i wanted to be fair so i gave it two turns you know what i mean two turns across uh, across the board for all of them um because he's getting three percent attack related stats and at totaling up to 15 percent attack related stats just for using an attack card like that's broken i think i think that's broken so i was like okay fair play right um but his second card here is a, a normal card um it's not anything too special this is going to be the killing saucer so i took this from uh miles kid as well uh miles kid blades, blades of light in his hand that rotates at a high speed which he uses to slice his enemies so i was like okay that's definitely a sever type uh, ability you know what i mean it's definitely a sever type card so i was like okay aoe sever same thing as like a uh, red sario i think that's definitely going to be a good uh, card right there for sure um and you know it's aoe as well so he has a single target a aoe and he's boosting his damage with a single target and then he could follow up his aoe he's gonna do big damage man so i think that's like pretty synergistic right there and then for his ultimate move here the ultimate skill greatest son if you guys have not seen the anime man when uh mile was fighting the original demon that actually just came to jp by the way when he was fighting the original demon he used the greatest son and basically one shot him bro so i was like okay that has to be his ultimate move and the way i would go about doing his ultimate move i definitely wanted to uh you know add ignite effects because he's doing he's dropping a freaking big ass sun on the guy bro yeah i had to you know in uh add ignite effects and i was also thinking like you know how could we go about it so dave when i had the idea um of actually adding ruin if you guys don't know what ruin does um i'm actually gonna pull it up on the uh you know skill filter here so if we actually go to ruin damage let me see if i can find it ruin so ruin damage right here um if we go to gloxenia's ultimate increases damage dealt by 30 percent per debuff on the target and removes the debuffs okay so basically how miles is gonna work is if you guys read the uh the ultimate here removes buffs on all enemies first off so just buff removal um applies two ignite effects on all enemies for one turn and inflicts ruin damage equal to 390 percent of attack on all enemies so basically how this works is he applies the ignite effects from the sun and then instantly ruin removes the debuffs but gives you 60 percent damage dealt um because per debuff you get 30 percent 60 percent on each person that's at one of the six so th that just goes to show you guys like that's a crazy effect at one of the six i think right um and i kept the multiplier to be the same as a uh, uh, trader meliotis if you guys like um see trader meliotis let me see here trader meliotis is like uh ultimate skill here is the same uh percentage so it goes from 390 percent all the way to 585 i thought that was fair um because i was thinking of doing kings where it went from 400 to 600 um but we want to be fair guys we want to be fair this is like i'm i'm trying to keep this like balanced i guess well not not actually balanced i'm trying to i'm trying to ba basically make it as realistic as possible basically that was like my mindset going into this right um so you know 390 percent of attack on all enemies and it scales up to 585 percent of attack and per ultimate move level depending on the dupe you actually get more ignites based on it so you're gonna be doing more damage uh in turn with the ruin effect so ultimate move uh one to two you get two ignites so when you get three like when you're on your third dupe of my l or fourth dupe you're at three ignites right at your five dupe or at your fifth dupe 
you get four ignites and then when you're at six out of six you get six ignites so it just it scales out man it really does so at six out of six removes all but removes buffs on all enemies applies six ignite effects on all enemies for one turn and inflicts ruin damage equal to 585 percent of attack on all enemies very very broken man if if that effect was actually in the game actually be so stupid man it, it would be so stupid because if you guys don't understand how much damage that is per debuff per debuff that's 30 percent per debuff right six times 30 is what uh 180 percent damage 180 percent damage on top of the fact that you know um miles removing your buffs 180 percent damage on top of the fact that he's already doing 585 percent of attack He's doing an insane amount of damage on top of the fact that he increases attack related stats, he gets basic stats up, he has his grace where he does more damage based on uh, the, the, how much HP he has left, and like he can recover his own HP. It, it's just crazy, man. I, I think this concept is really good, guys. You guys gotta let me know in the comment section below. I also put his basic stats as well. So we wanted to be kind of comparable to like uh, Elizabeth and Meliodas. So you guys can see this is Meliodas' stats right here. And you can see this is Mael's stats right here. So um, combat class is a little bit higher. Um, I think the attack defense HP was pretty uh, solid. Basically, everything here, we were just like, okay, we gotta just be crazy. Like 100% crit chance, 185% crit damage. Like, bro, we had to just go crazy, man. So yeah that's gonna be it for the video let me know in the comment section below do you guys like this concept for my l and do you think this would be possible to come to grand cross in the future man i think this is a pretty cool concept you guys gotta let me know though um i'm i'm uh, super excited for when they actually drop this character and i think this concept is like it's you know considering what it is i think it's balanced but it's also the fact that you know it's pretty creative i think you know, you guys have to let me know in the comment section below how you guys would build Mile. Uh, but that's going to be uh, uh, up to you guys. But that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a good rest of your day.